guys so welcome back to my channel if you're new what's up guys my name is Luna and if you're not new what is up family this is basically me just doing my makeup tutorial every single day makeup routine I'm basically just gonna show you guys what I like to do with my face and I have all my products here so watch the video to start off I use my facial radiance pads basically like what they are it's just toner, it brightens your face, it makes your whole face one tone, because it's toner. <laughs> but basically, I'm just going to pat this all over my face, and yeah. Then I have the same exact company, but this is like Ultra Repair Cream. So basically, this is just for hydrating your skin. It's really good, I really love it, and it's protectant as well, so it has a bit of like sunscreen in it. You can make your face dewy with this, or you can make it like super shiny so it really depends on how much you put on then I have um, the baby skin instant pore eraser I think this is one of the best pore erasers I've ever used to be honest so I really like it now I just put on my primer so that my skin is looking nice and it's all it's like yellow and you know what this is not my favorite primer it's by elf it's not my favorite um that's just me being honest but it's good if you just want to like do really natural makeup because it's not super like heavy. Like it will not like, it's not gonna ruin anything. Basically I have the Urban Decay Naked Skin Foundation. To be exact, it's Weightless Ultra Definition Liquid Makeup. So you just put this on, it's really good coverage. I normally do this when I have any blemishes because it's a little bit of a lighter, um, tone so it's really really good and it just literally like wipes everything out then you're gonna take a damp beauty blender and you're just gonna pat it like that and you just do it on your blemishes or whatever or wherever you want to put it like I can put it under my eyes I can put it anywhere I'm gonna normally put this just exactly where I put my um, pore eraser in my t-zone okay now that I have that on my face next what I'm going to do is if I can find it I basically found this at Urban Outfitters. I love it so, 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 so much. This is Milk Products. If you guys know what this is, it's amazing. I recommend it for literally everyone. This does really, really good on anything. If you want to cover any zits, if you want to cover your under eyes, if you have any blemishes anywhere, this is really, really good. It's super, super light. Also has um, sunscreen in it, which is really amazing. Basically what you're going to do is you're just going to push that out like right there and you're just gonna roll it on your skin it's a really cold but what I do I just do two little circles like you have two rosy cheeks then you can do it on your forehead your chin nose under eyes and you're just gonna paint <laughs> your face is gonna be looking like this. As you can see, my under eyes are not looking so good. I'm very, very, very sleep deprived. I have no sleep ever. So what I highly recommend is the Kat Von D Lock It Foundation. It's incredible. Usually you don't even have to put any of that other stuff that I just put on your face if you're using this. But since I actually kind of may want to look good, I'm gonna use this. So I'm gonna just use this, it's really nifty. After this, you're looking all good, you're looking totally fresh, you could totally walk out like this, but I'm not going to today. I'm going to use this. It's CoverGirl Clean Matte Powder. I'm gonna use this on literally, probably not anywhere else on my face, but my under eyes because I want my under eyes to be a little bit whiter than the rest of my face. So, cause it literally just, it brightens your eyes if you use a lighter powder. Then what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your Too Faced powder and you're just gonna damp this all over your freaking face. And I love this stuff. I think this is literally like a blessing from God. It smells amazing, it literally smells like hot chocolate. 
so use this go buy it yeah it's it's a little it's not that expensive but it's a good powder it'll last you long same with the Kat Von D I've had it for maybe like two weeks now and it's still literally full it's amazing I love it now on to eyes I love eyes because I really think that like the first thing someone looks at on your face is your eyes so making sure you have bright eyes and pretty lashes is all fun this is just the Maybelline mega plush volume it's really good and I don't know about you guys but I know my struggle in life is not getting mascara on your eyelids trying so hard not to I don't know if there's like a secret way you're supposed to put on mascara that I was not informed on or like no one told me about but you know what I'm just gonna keep doing this the way I've been doing it I got eyelash extensions sort of ruined my eyelashes it didn't really but it sort of did it my eyelashes are way shorter than they used to be now um, but I do not regret getting them I, 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 I recommend getting eyelash extensions. It, literally, you don't have to put on any mascara. I think that it just ruined my eyes because I did not take care of them properly. I want to have full lashes, so I'm going to put on this MAC mascara. It's amazing. Literally, everyone who has used this mascara says it's incredible. I've had this for, I think, literally a year maybe now, and it's still, like, amazing and it still works. This is a NYX eyeliner. It's amazing. It has two sides. It has a liquid side. Then it has like a, I don't really know what they call it. It's like crayon-y side. I don't really know what they call it. I'm just gonna do my waterline really, really quick. Now on to eyebrows. I'm not so good at eyebrows, so, and plus I have really dark eyebrows anyway, so I don't really need to fill them in a lot. Since I'm going for more of a natural look, I'm probably not going to use anything. I'm probably just going to shape them with this, so. On to lips. So I'm going to use the exposed liner, lip liner, on my lips, and then uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the Kiddo ColourPop to cover it. Now your lips are looking like this. So I'm gonna use my little ColourPop. I'm just gonna go over the lip liner with this. Now on the highlight. This is just the NYX um, highlight. I just got the Moonchild highlight because Emmy gave it to me for my birthday and I love her so, 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 so much. So I have to go pick that up. So I might just use the bluer tint highlight because I feel like it'll look really, really cool. I always get really, really scared um, using setting spray because I never know what it's going to be. <laughs> so. Most of that landed on my leg, I might have to do that again. There we go. Thank you guys so, so, so much for liking this video. If you guys liked any of the products that I was using, skip to where I literally showed you guys up close and you guys can screenshot it and let me know what your makeup routine is or if you have any products that you want me to try because I'm so open to buying new makeup. I will literally buy makeup any single day. So. I really hope you guys liked this. Thank you so, so, so much for watching this video through the whole entire way. And don't forget to like and don't forget to subscribe. Only if you want to like and only if you want to subscribe. Okay, I love you guys so, 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 so much. And I will see you guys next Wednesday. Bye.